everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be having a look at the family tree of John Adams, the second president of the United States. So let's begin. So as you probably know, he was the second president of the United States and first vice president of the United States. And also a cool fact is during the early days of the United States, the president and the vice president were usually from different parties. So John Adams was from the Federalist Party and his vice president, Thomas Jefferson, was from the Democratic Republican Party. He married Abigail Smith and with her he had six children, Abigail Adams, John Quincy Adams, Charles Adams, Thomas Adams, Susanna Adams and Elizabeth Adams. Susanna unfortunately died when she was one and Elizabeth was stillborn. Now, um, go back along here, I'll start off with his kids. So, Abigail Adams Smith married William Stephen Smith, who was the, um, the uncle of Charles Adams over here's wife, which is quite cool. And together with him, she had four children and she had breast cancer and in the surgery, her husband, mother and daughter all turned around because it was too much for them to handle seeing all the blood and stuff. So next we get uh, John Quincy who was the sixth president of the United States and he had four children, George Washington Adams, John Adams II, Charles Francis Adams Sr and Louisa Adams. Abigail Smith up here was actually quite offended that George Washington Adams here was named George Washington Adams after George Washington instead of after John Adams up here, his um, paternal grandfather, but um, his second son, John Adams II, was named after this guy up here. George uh, Washington Adams was an alcoholic and died at 28 after jumping off a ship and his body washed up on shore a few weeks later and his alcoholism actually influenced his brother who also became an alcoholic and died quite young and their younger brother Charles Francis was um wasn't an alcoholic and actually had a quite successful political career and he had seven children and I think I can confirm that one descendant of his is alive today, but um, I'm not 100% sure, so yeah. And then the younger sister, Louisa, unfortunately died less than one year old in 1812. Now, Charles Adams was also an alcoholic and he um, made questionable financial decisions according to Wikipedia. And he was disowned by his father and lived apart from his family and he married Sarah Smith who was the niece of Abigail Adams's husband and then they had Susanna Boylston and Abigail Louisa Smith who married Alexander Bryan Johnson and they had Alexander Smith Johnson who was a judge and had a very good judicial career and so we come over to the last surviving sibling, Thomas Boylston Adams, and he was born in 1772 and died in 1832. Uh, he married Anne Harrod, and in 11 years he had eight children, but unfortunately like his brother Charles, he also had quite a few problems with alcohol, so yeah. He was a member of the um, the Massachusetts General Court from 1805 to 1806, so um, very brief. And when he died, he was in debt like very badly. Now, if we move back up here to John Adams, we see his um, mother was Susanna Boylston, and his father was John Adams Senior. They had two brothers and after and um, i've gotten this date wrong which is not good but um he was actually born in 1691 and died in 1761 and his um his wife remarried to john hall and then from then yeah, um he didn't really get along with um, her kids. I also need to point out that um, that he is a first cousin once removed of Samuel Adams, another founding father of the United States. 
which means that um, John Adams Jr. is a second cousin of Samuel Adams, which I haven't shown on this tree. John Adams Sr. was actually a minister, so he performed weddings, baptisms, funerals, and stuff like that. So, um, so he got the honorific prefix, the Reverend. He had a brother called Peter, who was a, um, a farmer, and their other brother was a, um, a captain in the American Revolutionary War. But, um, but just a few months into his service, he, um, he died of dysentery, so he would not go on to see the rest of the war. But yes, so that was the family tree of John Adams. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.